All right, so where we left off was we created a local folder for our, pro our sample project or um, intro project, and we created a Git repository, and we learned how to um, add, commit, and push files to the remote repository. Um, so what I want to do now is just create a very simple phone gap script um, that we can upload to our repository and then um, bring it into the phone gap build service. So we have an index.html file here. I actually want to open up the phone gap documentation and there's just a, a whole bunch of stuff here that really is um, if we look at the API reference uh, this gives us different APIs and, and syntax so we can deal with the camera capture all that stuff uh, if we click on device device is mandatory um, and if you look at let's look at an example right here like I, I like I said we ran into this code earlier and I told you that we'd be seeing a lot of it we need to add an event listener for the device ready event and then we need to call a function when it's ready which here is on device ready then we're calling a function called on device ready and in here what we're doing is printing out some of the device um, global properties, the name, um, the Cordova build, the model, the version, um, and we're inserting that into this paragraph. So let's actually grab this code and put that right in our index.html. And let me close this so you can see it a little better. So it's pointing to the Cordova.js, which we don't need locally because when we upload it to PhoneGap, PhoneGap gives it its own Cordova.js file. Uh, like I said, where we have a, a listener, then this is going to run. It's going to um, put this information into this paragraph. So let's save that and let's upload that to our repository so we can say git status to see what's going on uh, we modified index.html so let's do a git add then we want to do a commit we could just put added index file script I don't know and then we want to git push okay it's asking me for my github login again okay so that's pushed so now what I want to do is add a config file so if we go to, let's just search for phonegap config.xml. And there's a bunch of information here about what you can do with um, a config file. You can add metadata. You can add which kind of features you want to use. Um, you can add all the images and splash pages that you want for your app. So what I want to do is just go to this PhoneGap start application. And this is just a sample config file. So I'm going to I'm going to copy this and go to my editor and I'm going to put in a new folder, a new XML document called config. And I'm going to paste this in here. And I don't need all this stuff. Um, this ID here is you can put whatever you want here it's usually a backwards domain format I don't know why they do that but they do so we'll just say edgewonics.test app ok 
Okay, and we can change the name. This is a testing uh, app for phone gap. And we'll probably be using this test um, application just to keep changing and, and showing you how to use certain features and re-uploading it. And I'll actually download the AP, APK file for Android and install it on my phone and show you how that works as well. Um, because sometimes features won't work in the emulators, so you have to put them on the phone. Um, let's see, I'll change this to my name. Uh, features. Right now, we don't, we're only using the device feature, which is mandatory. If you want to add features like camera support, geolocation, you have to specify that here, which we'll do later. Um, this preference stuff. Um, you can it tells you what it does over here. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it. And here is where we define all of our images. All our icons are in this block, and all our splash screens are in this block. But we're not going to be using any of that, so let's just get rid of those. Okay, I think that's good. Let's save that. And let's go ahead and upload that to our repository. We'll say added config. Okay, and then we'll get push. That's getting really annoying. Uh, all right, so that pushed. So I think that we're ready. All right, so let's go to, let's make sure it updated. Yeah, so we have our index, we have our config. Yeah, so we don't have this Cordova JS, but PhoneGap build will automatically put it in. All right, so let's try this out. Let's sign in with GitHub. Access your account. Okay, so here we can actually give permissions. A third party application wants to ask your, your account. So, read, write. So we just wanna allow access. Okay, so one final step. This email address will be used by PhoneGap Build for notifications. Okay, I don't want to receive emails, but I will agree to the terms of service. Okay, so now we have this, this um, little platform we can use. This tab is for uploading private apps. You can do it from a, a repo, we can, which we have here our test app but a free account you only have one private app um, here this open source we can have as many apps as we want that are open source so since our github account is linked to adobe build or phone gap build we can just pull this right in this test app and this is it's just really cool really easy um, a much better way than using what we did what we did before with the Android plugins for Eclipse and all that alright so now we have our testing application uh, it has our github link uh, so now we just want to click ready to build so now it's built and we can download for any of these platforms we want actually if we click on testing application it'll show us each platform we have iOS. If you click on error, you must provide a signing key first, which I believe you need to pay $100 for a license. Um, yeah, for a license. So we won't be generating any iOS apps. 
um, as far as I know. We have Windows, which takes an XAP file. HP phones have an IPK. Androids have an APK file. Um, this is, I'm not even sure what this is. It takes a WGZ. Blackberry, with Blackberry you do need a key, but it's free. Okay, so what we're gonna do is grab the APK file and this is an actual um, application that you can run on your Android phone. So let's save that. Now we can also use an emulator and we have one at, um, what is it? Emulator dot phonegap.com Oh, emulate. All right, so we need to get the Ripple emulator in order to use this. So let's click on that. This will take us to, I believe, the Chrome store. And it's just a, a browser plugin, so it's free. So we want to click the free button, add. All right, so now it's already installed. If we go to our app page, which is localhost slash test app, I think. All right, so let's open up Ripple. We just need to click the icon, click enable, and choose which version. We're gonna say, um, Cordova phone gap 1.0 and you can see that it worked all right so the emulator is working it's giving us the uh, information that we requested when the device is ready if we go back to our code we put it we created an uh, event listener for the device ready event which is fired off from the uh, device feature which we included right here the device feature okay and then when that's called we want the on device ready function to go off which is de defined right here we're taking the um, document dot get element by D device properties which we have here and we're putting HTML, element.innerHTML, which just inserts whatever you want into that P tag, which is the device name, Cordova, platform, all that stuff. And that's showing us right here. So that is your first phone gap application. Uh, I will show you how to do that on your actual device with that APK file as well. So. We'll do that next.